So the beauty of the Dickinson heater is it sips power. It sips propane and it sips 12 volt energy. On a 20 pound propane tank, it's typical for a barbecue grill, you can run it on low for 140 hours. Hello everyone and welcome back to our next video. So today I have a real treat for you guys. So during the 2024 RTR showcase, I was able to go around and take a bunch of videos of all the people displaying their interesting, unique vehicles. So stay tuned, we're gonna show you a bunch of those. I hope you enjoy. So uh, obviously what's the favorite part of your rig? The roof yard. <laughs> Stargazing especially. That's perfect. During the day, the bed goes away. Make my bed. It just comes down. Back half does the same thing. It's uh, six feet by four feet. And uh, I use an electric pump to blow up my air mattress. During the day, the bed goes away. Uh -huh. And I got plenty of floor space. I've got a mini couch here. I can chill out, play music, watch TV. Took a lot of head scratching, but uh, I figured it out one step at a time. Yeah, so it's two inch pink foam from Home Depot, wrapped in fiberglass with quarter inch plywood on the inside. I've got 400 watts of solar, 400 amp hours of lithium, um, then inverter, I run a regular size fridge and a wood stove that keeps me at my heat for free. It's as comfortable and self-contained as, as I can imagine. It helps me to be as free as possible. It slides in and it closes so you don't even know you have a camper. So these are shelves slide in like this and your refrigerator freezer comes with it as a kit. It's got full running water. It's got a holding tank. Uh, uh, it's got a, uh, a gray water tank. Everything runs on electricity here. Um, so it's basically a stealth camper. And, it's, and if you want to go back to your ready minivan, you can unstrap everything and put your seats back in. It actually uses the same bolt holes that uh, the seats are bolted to, and it uses straps up to bring, so it just tightens down. Uh, it's called Freeway. So they make a kit for the uh, uh, Odyssey, the Transit, for the Caravan, the, for the Toyota, so they, they make a lot. Well, I did the cardboard cabinets myself, um, found it on YouTube, it's tiny campers. So tell me about like the cardboard, what does that, what does that mean? The cardboard cabinets. So the cabinets are built out of cardboard instead of wood. So that's something I could do. I have chronic pain fibromyalgia, so I can't do a lot of, you know, hands-on work myself. Uh -huh. But then I got the idea of the cardboard. I can use scissors and <laughs> tape just fine. Oh, so it's scissors, tape, contact paper, and like little piece dowels and things to kind of brace it up. Yeah, my name's Wild Bill. I'm Nomad Leather. Uh, you can tell I got my computer set up and my laser engraver. I engrave leather, wood keychains, acrylic, you name it. If you got a picture, I can put it on almost anything. That's super cool. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jeff from Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, out here part-time. This is my rig, it's a 2011 E350. I guess I love my bed the best. Good night's sleep out here makes every next day better. Um, it's just a platform two by fours down with uh, plywood on top of it. And I made it hinge in the middle in case I ever wanted to bring something big in here, but I never do. I'm not gonna break the bed down to carry anything. So what's your, what's your favorite thing about being, on, being in your rig? I would say sleeping in my rig. I've got blackout panels everywhere. I don't see the sun come up. If I can get through the morning, I, I can sleep 12 hours, no problem. So a good night's sleep for you. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's perfect. So I started out with a no build of plastic bins and figured out after two years exactly what I wanted. And then I went to my brother's custom cabinet shop and he built these new fancy cabinets for me and nothing sits in the floor anymore everything has a space in the cabinet Hello, and I just love it. 
You want to know something cool about our rig? We can shower inside or outside. Outside, you have an outside shower tent, the Julka instant water heater. There's a hole in the bottom here that water drains out, so you use biodegradable soap. And then we have a shower head in there, so you can shower inside or outside. And there's also a retractable screen door. To keep Sam in, flies out. But Sam decided to make himself his own little door here on the bottom. He oh. let himself in out and took himself on a little walkabout <laughs> but we love the retractable screen door so here's here's the kitchen all we do is we just open it up like that now i got this but it is not attached this just comes off like that but i can recover the counter space remember i've got 12 feet of counter space when i just lost some but now i can recover it by flipping it here or more useful you have more people for dinner or want an extra workspace and there it is Sure, this AMAC system, it's typically made, uh, you buy it as a complete system, and it's made to go on the back hitch, but since we have our e-bikes out there, we, we had to figure out a way to move it. So what I did was I, I bolted this piece of two inch to the actual running board here and put a little support there. You have you relaxing there. Smile. Smile. Hey, I'm Martin, and this is an Eclife wall sink, and we actually got it used off of Craigslist. Someone was remodeling a house and took it out. And so it was, since it's residential, it had just a regular residential faucet, pretty small basin, it's glass. And so I took it off, put an electric faucet on, electric switch faucet, it's hooked to a pump, goes into a 20 liter uh, scepter tank here, and then there's a um, collection tank under here, it's two gallons. Um, bolted to the floor. That is super clever. I like. I mean, boy, I just think it's so cool looking. Like, yeah. Never seen some of the glass. <laughs> Do you want open? Sure. Oh yeah. Simple and uh, to the point. We have two latches here, one on each side. And then like that. And so that makes a bunk bed for you. More storage up there. And so someone can sleep up here and then also down here. Right. And I'll just grab one of these and get up there. <laughs> And I'm sleeping away. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Works fine for me. Okay, so what I think about my uh, rig that's unique is my Moroccan lights, my glass stained light up above you. I knew that I wanted to incorporate stained glass, so I have little pieces like the little butterfly there, the little angel that I drive with up front, and I found these lights on Etsy and ordered them from Morocco, handmade. So the beauty of the Dickinson heater is it sips power. It sips propane and it sips 12 volt uh, energy. It has a very small computer fan which blows the air over this heater box. Um, on low, the heater runs at 3200 BTU and on high it runs at 4500 BTU. Now on a 20 pound propane tank, typical for a barbecue grill, <clears throat> you can run it on low for 140 hours. Wow. And on, on high, it'll run for 100 hours. 
a concentric pipe. The inner pipe is what exhausts the heat and the outer pipe is where the, the fresh air draws in. And on the outside of the rig, you'll see like a bell-shaped uh, exhaust pipe. Well, I hope that you guys enjoyed the unique vehicles that I showed you in today's video on what I saw at the 2024 RTR Showcase. Let me know which one was your favorite one. We'd love to hear in the comments below. If you got anything out of today's video, please give us a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share it with friends. Until next time, we'll see you down the road. So long.